Hey guys, this is Chris and Kaz Cooking Show. I am Chef Chris and this is Chef Cry. Chef Cry. Yep, that's the kind of day it's been. Anyways, I am Chef Chris, this is Chef Kai, and we are here for an easy video. When I say easy, I mean I have had a long weekend and I'd like it to be easy. So, what are we making, Chef Chris? Well, we've got sliders and we are going with these pretzel. Hawaiian, uh, King's Hawaiian pretzel slider. Something easy. Uh, gives me a reason to use out all these uh, pans I bought that I had no reason to have. Didn't work for anything. So that's where we're at with that. So what are we putting on these bad boys? Well, let's get it down a little lower. I have some white American, I have some yellow American, I have some hard salami, and I have some ham. Um, so, I have every intentions of doing mayo and mustard on these bad boys, but you know what? I told Chef Kai, hey, we've got plenty of mayo. Apparently we do not have plenty of mayo, so that's where we're at with that. So, we're going to use Granny's Barbecue because this stuff's pretty slapping. And, well, I picked up a jalapeno mustard, so, whew, that's a lot. I don't want to ruin the, the buns themselves, but, yeah, I think mayo would have been a lot better for this. That's where we're at with that. So, we've got the oven heated up to 350. We're going to do this the messy way. I got some uh, white American for some of these, but not enough to go all the way around. So, and I said I got hard salami. I'm gonna kind of make these thick. So, we will go ahead. Oh, this one's still got the paper in it. Hey, you didn't hear me cuss. Work on it. Alright. Still throwing things I see, Chef Kai. So we will go ahead and... I plan on using the majority of this meat at least in the cheese make them nice and thick why not hmm. sorry guys you didn't see that either this is some really really good barbecue sauce though so much as I want the mayo yeah much as I wanted the mayo It'll be a fair trade, I suppose. Oh, jeez, that's what we need. Two of these bad boys. I've also got uh, corn on the cob. I I was just kind of in a rush this weekend. We did tulip time, uh, tulip festival, and I just had no idea where to go with the where would I want to go with it. Sorry, it's just weird not seeing me on there. Okay, so, so yeah. Basically what I did was, I've got, as always, uh, enough corn to cover what I need, and then I stuck a stick of butter in there, and then I put a ton of garlic, uh, jalapeno, and then, uh, butter marinade. Hey Chef Cry, are you okay? You want a couple more treats? Because I know it's going to be a little bit before supper. But you'll notice we have a milestone here with Chef Cry. He's eating with his fingers. He was eating with a fork if you put it on the fork and throwing food, but he is shoving food in his mouth now. So that's uh, something we are happy with. Yes. 
All right, so we've got hand. Pretty good slice. I don't remember what kind of ham I got. It was a honey ham, I think. So. Probably not enough ham is what I'm thinking. Eh, it'll be okay. We'll just uh, slice it a little bit. Just kind of want to layer this, so do that. We'll have extras, so these will go to work. If somebody wants in on it, let me know. I did get jalapeno mustard, but it's not that spicy. Uh, do apologize for that last meal. I made some spicy meatballs and uh, not so spicy meatballs, and somehow the person that wanted the not spicy meatballs got my meatballs. And my meatballs were pretty spicy, so I feel bad for her. That last meal ended up being pretty good, though. We all, everybody that tried it seemed to like it, so. I'm happy with results like that. I like to share the food I make, so. So yeah, that's where we're at. Throw this one here. Now, I don't know, I think this, this lady that cut my meat up for me gave me exactly what I needed. I've got two layers of each, so that's where we're at. Now we just need the lids. And for that, we're gonna use mustard. Spread that bad boy up. I tried this mustard. It's not that spicy, but I also might not have gotten any of the actual jalapeno. So, just throwing it out there. Got a new treat we're going to try with this too. Might not be uh, something necessary just because it's what we're making, but. Just give me a minute and we'll find out. What's up, Chef Pack? Alright, so plenty of mustard. Plenty of BBQ. Alright. Now we've got yellow American cheese. This is basically what falls in together. Whoa! Hey, I heard you're hanging out today. I spent the weekend with Papa. We don't need to yell. You want to try that? Tell me what you think. You alright? It's a little spicy. Not too spicy for Chef Kai. Alright, so we do have a little extra cheese, but that was the plan because this uh, American cheese at Walmart, the yellow kind, is superb. Alright. Okay, so that's not what I meant to do, but anyways, there we are. I'm going to put these lids on here. Get to our next section. Like I said, I just want something easy. I, we, we, did, we did tulip festival, we did lawn work, this grandpa is uh, feeling pretty rough, and this grandpa's ready for bed, honestly. Alright, so, I've got some garlic and herb, butter, um, just the pats from Hy-Vee, my favorite pats. I honestly think they said this one had rosemary in it, so we'll see. It smells gorgeous though. We're just gonna brush the top of these. And then we're gonna add a little seasoning to the mix. What, dude? You got a couple treats there. Look, right here. All right, so what else did I get at Walmart? Onion butter, all-purpose blend. 
And the reason I say I might not need this is because it's probably going to add some more salt to it that we don't need. I'm just telling you, I saw this and I'm like, what can I do with that? I tried it. It's an all-purpose seasoning, so that's what it's good for. But it is freaking amazing. I've tried it. When did I try it? Oh, I got a KC strip last night. I chopped it up into pieces and I used some of that cool smoke to give it a Mexican vibe. And then I used some of this butter and I basted it in some of these butter packs. I cooked it, I should say. I did chop it up and cooked it. And then I put this. Oh, dude. And the flavor was just immense. It's got a great butter flavor and it's got a great onion flavor. It's just two flavors I don't have mixed together. So, and I love butter and garlic and all sorts of that stuff. Hey, buddy. You lost it. You got one toy left. You want a couple more treats or not? Can you do the little ones? Fridge treats? Look at that. She's, she's getting better. So, he's just gobbling. So, we're. This one does not have the open pouch to where you can get a bunch out. I wish it did, but, anyways, this stuff is amazing. <laughs> Only five bucks, get you some. Alright, so, had the oven set for 350. We're going to throw these in for about 20 minutes. So, this has been cooking for a little while. It's on high heat. So we're going to put a timer on. You want to put them in for 25 minutes, but we're going to start with 20. Then I will check them. I'm not going to make you guys sit here while we do that. So, Chef Cry over there needs some attention. We will be back. Hey guys, this is Chef Chris and I am back. I have gone ahead and pulled. I've gone ahead, sorry, my English sucks today. I've gone ahead and pulled out one of these bad boys. We're going to plate it up. The other ones are... Let's get a small one. I don't need this giant knife. Get one of these serrated ones. I didn't leave it in there for 25 minutes. The other ones are still in there. So they'll cook pretty good, but I had to turn it off. So. We are just going to plate up three of these bad boys. Maybe I'll go ahead and do the cutting the rest of it. Hey, that way it's not a pain to eat. Hoping these are good because I've been wanting to slide them for a while. Like I said, I would have preferred the mayo, but I was not prepared. And that's what you get for thinking or making videos on the fly. We did tulip time and we spent about four hours in Pella. It was starting to warm up and I was wore out and I'm just like, let's get this grocery shopping done. You know, things that parents do. And I had no idea. So, three of these bad boys. Well, the ham's good. Pretty freaking tasty. I've been pretty lucky that only that one meal so far tasted pretty bad.
Definitely a little salty on top. But it's flavor, flavor packed for sure. That's all we have, guys. I'm going to plate up some of this corn. I'm going to dig in because it's that time of day. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. High five, Chef Kai. Nope, he's in the other room because he was crying. Gave him a bottle, laid him down. Um, anyways, that's all we got, guys. Hopefully, you'll remember to subscribe and like the videos. If not, that's it. All right, have a good weekend, guys.